On this episode of Living the Dream, Jimmy and Louisa rip into some Dorados for the ultimate Casa del Golfo experience. I got him, big dolphin, big dolphin, coming up right here. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I got that Key West jig on him, and he didn't think twice about it. Look at that guy go! Woohoo! Hey! Man, oh man, what a way to start the morning! Look at this thing. He is just showing off right here beside the boat. Just out here living the dream. Woo! Fish on, he's on the surface. It's a big one. That's a real big one. Come on. Eagle. Get him. That's Stubby Bubbler. That worked out. They never turn down the stubby bubbler. Look at that thing go! Oh my gosh! Nice! Woo -hoo -hoo! There he goes! That's the biggest rooster fish I've ever seen, Louisa! Oh my god! Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Jimmy and Louisa are loving every minute of their El Salvador trip. An easy thing to do when you're living the dream at a coastal resort in Hotel Casa del Golfo. They've been given the grand tour of the region. Jose, the resort owner, and his wife, Anadella, have showcased their coffee farm and private island tours and feasts. So today, they're looking to see what the fish are made of. Winds are high and seas are rough. But Jimmy and Louisa have had plenty of time to relax. They ready the spread with some CNH lures, and the Casa del Golfo experience continues. All right, we're out here trolling. This is our first day offshore here in El Salvador. And of course, it's the first day that the wind picked up. And we're going to be trolling some of the CNH rigged and ready lures. We got some stubby bubblers and some rattle jets. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, stubby bubbler on right now. One of my favorite Dorado lures. And that's the CNH stubby bubbler. And if you see right there, that cupped lip has four holes around it, puts a really nice smoke trail out behind it, has a seven aught J hook, and a really nice AFW swivel. So, so nice about the rigged and ready is what you're seeing right now. The amount of time it takes to get this thing ready and in the water is how long it takes you to get the lure out of the pack and tie it on your line so convenient, especially when you're running and gunning like this in rough weather. And I'm done. Just got to cut off my tag end and we're good to go. And I'll show you that lure one more time. Seas are rough today and the swells are rocking the boat. But Jimmy's experience with rough days offshore tells him the fish will be active. After the spread is set, he knows it won't be long before he hooks into something. But when he spots a floating log bobbing by in the current, he can't resist throwing a jig at it with a spinning reel. Oh, see that big log? Let's go cast on that log. And sure enough, a Dorado is quick to take the bait. Well, I'm gonna hook up right now. I got him, big dolphin, big dolphin. Coming up right here. Woohoo! I saw him hit it under the water, baby. Oh my gosh, I got that Key West jig on him. He didn't think twice about it. Holy smoke! I knew I was gonna be outpowered on this rod. It might take me a minute. Woo -hoo! That's what it's all about, guys. Got like a 3,500 spinning pin spinner here. This is gonna be a fun fight. You know, there was several dolphins under that log, too. That boy was sitting right on the surface, almost knocked him in his head. Man. He is jumping still, guys. That's a good fish.
Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Grizzly Coolers. Envisioned, engineered, and perfected for performance. Deck it. Never compromise. Demand the best. And by American Fishing Wire. Before the break, the spread was set with CNH lures just offshore from Hotel Casa del Golfo. And Jimmy's got a good feeling about the bite today. But when he spots a floating log, he knows there'll be bait fish under it. And where there are bait fish, there are hungry Dorado. I got a big dolphin, big dolphin, coming up right here. Woohoo! I saw him hit it under the water, baby. Guys, 40 pound Palomar fluorocarbon leader and a little one ounce Key West jig. And I hooked up a pretty big dog on dolphin for the first cast of the day. Look at that guy go. Woo! Well, guys, this is what we were after. We thought we were going for Dorado, and we got him. Oh, he's coming up right out of the back. He's going to jump here. He's going to jump right there. He's coming up. He's coming up. Here he goes. Oh, he's kicking. Come on, give me that jump. He's going to come up. Oh. Thought I lost him for a second. <laughs> you know, the nice thing about those Key West jigs is the hook swivels on it. It's not like a regular bucktail where it's stiff and they spin and jump and torque it out of their mouth. It spins with the fish, kind of like a loop knot would do on your jig, except you tie a loop knot and you have that hook like that for these jumping fish, like dolphin, tarpon, things like that. Not gonna lose them easy. Holy cow. You guys want to experience fishing like this? The place to go is Casa del Golfo in El Salvador. It's where we're fishing out of right now. It's where we're gonna be for the next week. It's an amazing place. We've already had two days of inshore fishing that have been completely epic. And now we've been out here for about 10 minutes and eight of that's been fighting a dolphin. All right, here he is, guys. Look at this. Oh, it's a big one. Woo! Woo! Look at that. Nice job, Jimmy. All right. Come here. Got Not him. exactly how I wanted. Woo! Got him. Yeah. Then do another circle under the boat. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. Look at that beauty. Look right there in the corner of his mouth and those bright blue lips lit up on the Key West jig. Woo-hoo-hoo! Hey! Yeah. Man, oh man, what a way to start the morning. He's bowing and flipping and twisting on me here. He doesn't want to stay still, but we got him. Believe it or not, guys, this is actually my favorite fish to catch. Offshore dolphin is my favorite fish. In sno inshore, snook and kubera. Rooster fish, kind of got a tie there, but uh, offshore, it's the dolphin. It takes the cake for everything. My favorite fish. They eat well, they taste fantastic, they're strong, and one of the prettiest fish that swim. And this guy looks like he's ready to go for a ice nap in the grizzly cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and work him right back. Woo! Before he flips out of my hands. If this floating log is producing Dorado like these, Jimmy and Louisa can't help but stick with it before they start trolling again. Fish, oh man. Don't know if that was a dolphin or not. Couldn't see what it was. Come on, man. Come on, man. I got one. Nice. Woohoo! What do you got? It's not a dolphin. It's bait for everybody. Oh. <laughs> got some bait. It's always good, right? The Dorado are here because the bait fish are here. And the smaller the jig, the more likely it is you'll snag a bait fish when you're hoping for a Dorado. <laughs> Actually, it's a little amber jack, a little Almaco. Almaco trap, yeah. yeah. Little guy. It's not the size or species they're after, but you can't have one without the other. So Jimmy and Louisa aren't quite ready to leave the log behind yet. They know they can pluck a few more bulls from the water. Wrong thing. So long as the bait fish aren't the hungrier of the two. Yeah, they're here. They're just they're going deep. I, I, I watched them come up and go down. They're staying kind of that dark green color. They're not really lit up with blue or nothing. Just just real dark. Sometimes they're not as aggressive like that. This is a little fish. They'll get those, those peck fins will get all lit up blue when they get aggressive sometimes. The dolphin ate the fish! 
Jumps. He must have got 10 feet in the air. Look at that, Louise. He got more behind him. He's going to probably jump right over here. Yep, he's going to jump right here into the sun. Yeah, baby. Give us a show. Just out here living the dream. Woo! Look at him. Oh, yeah. That was it right there, guys. Look at this thing. He is just showing off right here beside the boat. Wow. You guys wonder why dolphins are my favorite fish? Right there's your answer why. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by C&H Lures. Be a winner with C&H Lures. Plantation on Crystal River the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by Salt Life, live salty. Jimmy and Louisa were still casting at a floating log, but they weren't sure if they could get past the bait fish clouding the water. Just when Jimmy was about ready to start trolling again, a bait fish nailed his jig, and a nearby Dorado couldn't resist the bite. I had these little uh, trigger fish and stuff nailing that Key West jig on the way in, Problem is all the little bait fish want it too, and they hit it, and one of them got hooked up on it, and the dolphin said, uh-uh, came and took it from him. Sometimes they're not as aggressive like that. It's a little fish. They'll get those, those peck fins will get all lit up blue when they get aggressive sometimes. The dolphin ate the fish! No! Woo! Woo Great job! Look at him go! Wow! Here he is right here on the surface again. I can see the sparkles on the jig in the water. Look at him right there on the surface. Good job, Louisa. Hey, sure. Well done. Woo! <laughs> That's his little brother. We just caught the bigger guy a minute ago. See here, take a look at that. You see that jig right there? Oh yeah, right in his mouth. That's what it's happening on made by a little company out of Key West. We call them Key West Jigs. Get you a little information on those things so you guys can pick them up. Killer jigs, all the local guys down there in the Keys use them and throughout Florida. This dolphin put in a show, huh? Heck yeah. Super acrobatic. What a fun one, man. It's like, you can never say that enough on a dolphin. They're just so dang fun. Beautiful fish, look at the colors on that. Just a work of art, man. Good job, Jerry. Heck yeah. <laughs> that log was holding a bunch of stuff. Right. That we saw right. floating. Welcome to Casa del Golfo. <laughs> Woo! With beautiful Dorado. Here's what it's happening on. That's the one ounce right there. That's in the blue and white. He's putting dinner on the table, that's for sure. Look at him getting those stripes on him. That's the color he was swimming around the water. They were just dark green. They didn't look real aggressive. We couldn't get him to hit most of the stuff we were throwing and finally they hit. Jimmy and Louisa make a few more casts on the log, but it's crowded with bait fish. So they decide to start trolling again. If nothing else will, the CNH lures are sure to fire the Dorado right up again. We have all of our lures rigged up. This is a little rattle jet. We also have rattle jet XLs out and some stubby bubblers. And uh, decided to rig a little ballyhoo up on it. Shouldn't take too long to get a hit. We're in the right zip code. Fish on, he's on the surface. Give us a big jump. It's a big one. That's a real big one. Biggest one today. Yeah, it's not even moving. He's staying down, must be a big one. <laughs> I'm 
glad I had a really good breakfast back at Casa del Golfo because I definitely need it for this big fish. This fish is pulling hard. Woo! Here he jump, goes jump, again. Jump. Oh, here he goes. He's, he's going gonna up. jump. He's gonna jump. He's coming up. Jump for us. He wants to jump. He's just he's being shy right now. <laughs> We're trolling rattle jets, stubby bobblers. That one's on the stubby bobbler. This one is on a stubby bobbler. I love catching dolphins. They're good to eat, they're beautiful, and normally acrobatic. This one is just being a little shy with the jumps right now, but I'm sure when it gets closer to the bow, it might give us a couple jumps. Oh, don't take my line again, don't take my line again. Come on. He's a beauty. Before the break, Jimmy and Louisa started trolling again. About as soon as they set the spread, a CNH stubbly bubbler got nailed by a Dorado. Fish on, he's on the surface. Give us a big jump. It's a big one. That's a real big one. It's the biggest one today. Yeah, it's not even moving. He's staying down. Must be a big one. This fish is pulling hard. Woo! This Dorado is digging down and giving Louisa the fight of the day. But as soon as she gets it near enough to the boat, the bull gives them a taste of the show Come they've on. been waiting for. This fish is definitely very strong. Oh, don't take my line again. Give, give us a big jump. jump please, now. please, give us a big jump. He's gonna jump now. Oh yeah, he's gonna give us a big jump. Yeah! All right, Louise, it's looking good, huh? Yeah. I bet you might, uh, you might come some in line. sometime today. Hopefully, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, he's digging down. He is. He thinks digging he's a down. tuna. He just makes my back hurt. <laughs> I can't reel anymore. Here you go. Get him. Amazing. Woo -hoo -hoo! We got him. Another monster, guys. <laughs> awesome See that thing? <laughs> Look at that thing lit up in the sun there. Wow. That stubby bubbler. That worked out. Heck yeah. <laughs> Perfect lure. Thanks for gaffing it. Yeah, no problem. I think you got the big fish of the day. It's probably about as big as that first one, or maybe a little bigger. Maybe there's Feels 10. like it's got about five pounds on it. It's a <laughs> Nice fish. He definitely felt heavy when I was fighting him for sure. <laughs> awesome day. We got a fish. They never turn down the stubby bubbler. He was hungry for that lure, that's got for it. sure. They sure do put good barbs on those CNH lures. Didn't want to come out of his mouth. What a dolphin, Louisa. He Stop. fought hard, this dolphin. Fought till he had no life left Still in the very end, yes. <laughs> very cool. He devoured us. All right, I got another Dorado right here, about to go in ice. I'm gonna take it back to Casa del Golfo. After a long day on the water reeling in some massive El Salvadorian bull Dorados, Jimmy and Louisa head back to Casa del Golfo to sink into just about every comfort this premier resort has to offer. They shake the sun away on these beautifully manicured and shady grounds and grab some cocktails poolside. But mainly, 
it's dinner that's on their minds. Casa del Golfo offers cook-your-catch services, and whether you eat the fish you've been reeling in all day or not, every single dish on their menu is delicately and masterfully prepared. The in-house chef hearkening on fine French cuisine and recipes from around the world. Every single ingredient is locally sourced, from the chicken to the lobster. It doesn't get any fresher than that, and eating from plates like these doesn't get any better, especially when you're fresh from rocky seas and reeling in some stubborn bowls all day. The next day, they take a break from fishing and head to Espiritu de la Montana, or Spirit of the Mountain a nearby volcano located in La Union. They climb the steep, stony path to a drop-off point at the peak, where they're welcomed with amazing views of the Pacific Ocean and volcanic islands jutting out of the bay to meet the early morning sun. The massive wooden platform at the top, which juts out over the face of the volcano, gives hiking and camping enthusiasts the chance to tan out cliffside and wake up with views like this one. Just another experience on a long list of many that Casa del Golfo has to offer. For more fishing and diving action, follow Captain Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson.